What up, YouTube? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, uh, I love you. Thank you for being here. Last time I recorded the video in the previous one, I had two subscribers at the time of recording, and now I have 100, which like genuinely blows my mind. So that far exceeded my expectations for what I would get, and this is only my third video. Definitely need to start posting more. If you did subscribe, thank you so much. If you're not, uh, I don't know. Maybe subscribe, maybe don't. You probably should, even if it's just to watch my videos and flame me, that's fine. I'll take it, okay? So this is gonna be a little showcase of my vintage dunks, show other like vintage shoes and whatever I have. So hopefully this video won't be too long. I'm not gonna spend a crazy amount of time on any particular pair of shoe. Shoes. Unless I really like the shoe, but we will see. For shoe number one, it's gonna be the UNLV colorway. University of Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, I guess, probably. I don't know. But yeah, these are from 1999. And I have the low tops as well. Both of them are like decently beat up with some heel drag. This pair's not bad. This colorway is pretty fucking beautiful. Also, the dunks I'm showing, these are the one, only ones that I actually wear. I have a shitload of dunks, which I'm not a fan of. I just, ever since grailed up their fees, I've just been holding on to my shoes and have been too lazy to start posting them on my Instagram selling page. So I'm going to be doing that soon. I have like 40 pairs or something to sell, but these are all ones I'm going to be keeping. Last time I wore these to a bar a couple months ago and got a nice crack on them right there on the collar. Kind of chapped about that, but... That's what happens when you wear your shoes. So for my next pair, it's the 2003 St. John's, which I guess this wouldn't technically be vintage, right? But I mean, older dunks, all right? Older releases, not none of the new shit Nike has been pumping out, the trash materials. These have the nice, beautiful, piss yellow sole, naturally aged. And I actually, I have a pair of the Fugazi slugs and I got a bunch of the aglets and I put a pair on these. I think it looks pretty sweet. These took me like 10 minutes to put on and I wasn't even able to screw them in all the way, but yeah, big fan, big fan. These are probably my most worn, honestly, even though obviously they're not my number one, but I just beat the shit out of these shoes. A lot of sole separation and whatnot, but yeah, beautiful nonetheless. So my next pair of shoes is going to be these triple whites. Again, these wouldn't technically be vintage because they're from 2008, but these have such a tastefully yellowed sole. It's like a light yellow hue, and I put the cream laces in. I do like that, even though it's some like big trend, whatever. I think it just looks really nice when the sole matches properly. I think they look pretty damn nice. These are definitely one of my favorites. And honestly, I, I don't try not to wear them that much because I don't want to crease them because I just think they're so beautiful. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous pair of shoes. Next up is going to be the Kentucky colorway. These are from 1999, but these aren't the ones I wear, really. I wear the 2007, the vintage packs. So I don't know if you're familiar, but I mean, everybody's doing like the aging trend and whatever bullshit. And people think that it's like a new thing, but it really is. Fashion comes full circle with trends and whatnot. And this was like the aging and distressing of like Dunk, well, mainly Jordan 1s, was very popular back in 2007. And Nike actually pumped out a, like a replica of like the 85. So they have the bigger swoosh. They have like frayed detailing on the on the stitching around the shoe it's got like a little tail back here i don't know if you can see no whatever you can see the fraying whatnot and the aged sole which is like super uneven but if you want to compare it to these so this is the 1999 this is the 2007 but just look at the shape of the shoe is very different the size of the swoosh is also very different and the materials are way, way, way different. The 2007 Dunks to me are amazing. They're so, so comfy. They have extra padding on the... You need to just stop. But I don't even know where I was just going with that. Regardless, the, the materials on these are awesome. The only thing is the sizing is fucked up, but I'm willing to sacrifice the sizing to make it a, get a beautiful shoe. And I threw in these Foxtrot laces for the 85 look. They're all right. I mean, I'm, 
I think they look good personally, but obviously to each their own. This is also another 2007 vintage pack one, except these ones are pretty beat. If you want to like just compare the soles from being worn so much, like the oxidation on them, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but they're very, very different in person in terms of how yellowed they are. Obviously, so this had, they both had like the artificial yellowing done to them and distressing and whatnot. This one has just been used a lot more. I don't know if you can tell, but last but not least, this is the, the clothes over dunk from 2003 most of these i don't think i'll ever sell all the other shit i have i'm definitely selling but these are just amazing they have naturally oxidized yellow sole they have some scuffs they also have all of the ankle paint it was all removed and it looks crazy so i don't know if you could yeah you definitely can see the obviously the shade of white and then this is like the more yellow i have these aren't cream laces, they're like uh, oatmeal. And yeah, this shoe is gorgeous. Plus I have, I mean Celtics, which I mean you can, some people would say it's like a low top version, but it's two different shades of green. But I mean, these ones are beat to shit. These are probably, it's probably like a three out of 10. I, I wear these very frequently and I, oh man. Like look at, look at that, that toe. <laughs> These things are cooked, I love it. And like there's like bubbling all over the swoosh and like these are beat up. Like when a hype beast sees them, they definitely shed a tear. Because these are obviously like, these are pretty coveted shoes nowadays, especially with how Instagram and whatever influences buying behavior. But like these things are, they, they're a crust bucket basically. Like the whole inside paint removed, there's cracking all around the collar. These are from 2003 as well. The heel drags like not, terrible but yeah this isn't i mean i guess they're like one and the same so that's my top five for the vintage dunks so now i'm going to just show some random pairs that i think are worth showing hopefully this video doesn't go too long so i don't want to waste your time just like flaunting random material possessions i have but i think it's cool and some of you probably will too these are a pair of dactaris which i love these honestly these could be in my top five but but they're not the guy I bought these for, I got these for a crazy steal, like probably like a hundred bucks, something like that ship, maybe a little more. I mean, a, a new pair is like, I don't know, like 700 bucks, something like that. But the dude, as time goes on and these get worn, these stripes get more faded, the white gets dirty. Like these used to be like a like a white, if not like a cream, it gets super dirty and the, the stripes fade. So this dude, 5,000 IQ move. He takes a black Sharpie and covers up the stripes, the black Sharpie, and it is, it's honestly, it's hilarious to, to see the job this guy did. Like, like, look at this. Like, this is like a normal, this is like a stripe that hasn't been fucked with. And like, look at this. Like, Buddy didn't even fucking draw in the lines. Like, look at this one. <laughs> like, I should probably touch it up. Maybe I will. But part of me likes the fact that they're like so, they're just fucked up. All right, so one of the other shoes I'm going to show is these Eric Hayes Dunks from 03. And I would never sell these if they were my size, but they're a nine, I'm a 10. Regardless, I just think the shoe is fucking gorgeous. The tones on it is crazy. They wear, they, the paint wears off. And so it gives it like a unique look. Every pair is a little different depending on how the people wear them and whatnot. These penetrator lows, they are a six and a half in women's. And I just think the shoe is fucking gorgeous. It's from 1985. The glue on it is like perfect. They're just, they're so beautiful. I was saving these for if I ever have a girlfriend or something. I don't know. I don't have high hopes for that in the, in the near future. But regardless, if I do get a girlfriend, you, you can have these. If I don't sell them to somebody else before. But yeah. These things are crazy. I just think this is such a beautiful shoe. Like, I don't know any low top Nike that looks this good right now. And now that like being like vintage and minimalism is like a trend right now, Nike's trying to replicate the designs and the look and the feel of them, but they just, they miss like 90% of the time. That's why I just love the actual vintage shoes. It's just, they're hard to beat. Like just the leather on them is crazy. And the swoosh, it, the quality is ridiculous. And then I got these Sky Forces or Sky High, for, or what, the high top Sky Forces, I'm pretty sure from 85. And these are fucking cooked. Or like an archaeologist found these buried underneath like the fucking pyramids in Egypt or something. They are crazy age. They got solid heel drag. I'm upset. These are straight back to the future. They look so beautiful to me. 
If, oh man, I wish these were my size so badly. They're seven, seven and a half. And I would, these would be like a daily pair for me. I just think they're so fucking cool. Normally it says Nike right here, but obviously this pair, again, was retrieved when somebody was searching for a T-Rex fossil or something. So everything is like super beat up, but like, oh man, they're crazy. And this is like, this is like dehydrated piss yellow. Like this is like, so these Fragment Lows from 08, they're the white polka dot ones. Obviously, you know Fragment, you probably do. If you don't, it's just a company out of Japan. They really killed it with these. Like the leather is nutty, absolutely nutty. The only thing is it's like a patent leather uh, like toe box and it like ripples up. It doesn't really affect the shoe too much, but I mean, some people might not like that. Gorgeous shoe. So those are all the shoes I'm gonna show today. I have a ridiculous amount of shoes, way more than just what I showed you. These are just ones that I felt would like make sense in the video, I guess. I have more vintage shit, more non-vintage shit, whatever. But yeah, with this channel, I mean, my first two videos were like DIYs or whatever, but I'd wanna make like the content like diverse enough. Yeah, let me know if you wanna see anything. I have a ridiculous amount of clothing and shoes and I'm a bit of a hoarder because I, I put sentimental value on shit and it makes it hard for me to let it go. And a lot of it, yeah, I just love, especially things I thrifted because it's just like, I have like a story with so many different pieces of clothing. Obviously I don't want this to come across as like pretentious and like, oh, look at all my shit. But like, it's cool. And if you're into this stuff, obviously you'll want to see it or maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you want to see anything and to the people that are subscribed and even if you're not subscribed and you just made it to the end of the video, I am very thankful for you. That means a lot. And especially somebody like, I haven't like told a bunch of my friends about this or anything. Like this is very much me just making a YouTube video and like trying to see if I can actually like build it without like getting support from other people. And the fact that I have a hundred subs really does blow my mind. And to all the people that have commented and whatnot, like some people have been like really fucking supportive and yeah, it's just just really really nice to see and uh, yeah I'm grateful to you guys and keep commenting and seeing what's up let me know if I sounded stupid you can flame me I don't care whatever drop a comment maybe leave a like uh, yeah talk to me and uh... Ah! hey hey give me that back give me that back